you know, obviously I'm thinking about my own future, uh, but I really have not had the luxury to do much of that. You know, everyone told me once you bang the gavel on that last meeting, you've got a month of kind of easing into retirement, but you may have noticed we're in a pandemic and we have this provincial government. So I've actually been very busy. Um, but I'm also obviously concerned about the future of the city and concerned about the decisions that are going to be made going forward. I'm confident we're going to be fine. You know, as I have been out in the community, I hear from every single person who wants to take a photo, gosh, we're going to miss you. And my response is always the same. I'm going to miss me too, but it's going to be okay. The city is strong. We are full of people who love the city and do great acts of service and heroism for others every single day. And so we're going to be okay. And hopefully we're going to be much, much more than okay. Now, is it going to be extremely difficult for me to shut up? Yes. <laughs> Will I probably talk a lot about federal and provincial politics? Yeah. But I do want to create the space uh, for the new mayor to do their work as I continue to write my story going forward. So what's mostly on my mind right now is all the logistics of ending a job after 11 years is a funny little tidbit for you. At 11.59 a.m. on October the 25th, I will be 49 years old, almost 50, and I will be walking out into the world with no car, no phone, no computer. <laughs> it's like going out to university, starting all over again. So those logistical things are keeping me up at night too. Uh, but ultimately the bigger issues uh, are what I've got my mind on. So when we think about capital investments, we have made the largest investments in our road network in Calgary's history. Uh, new roads, interchanges, uh, movement for goods and services, uh, trucks and so on. We've also, of course, made the largest investments in transit in our history, even before the Green Line, with the new uh, MAX bus rapid transit network, as well as extensions to the existing LRT, and in active mobility with cycle tracks, pathways, uh, and pedestrian connections really built throughout the city. So lots of investments in transportation, lots of investments in community infrastructure. Uh, early on in my term, uh, we were able to create, using some tax room, Calgary's first ever permanent community infrastructure fund. And that allowed us to build the new central library, to renovate every branch library, to build four new recreation centers, as well as outdoor athletic parks and um, other recreation facilities. So there's a lot of things that people use and enjoy every day that we were able to build. On the social side, we brought forth our first ever anti-poverty plan, Enough for All, and just this year uh, unanimously endorsed uh, the first ever community-based action plan on mental health and addiction. And so there's been a lot of movement forward there. We've cut the rates of poverty in the city. We have been able to really help people with low incomes better participate in the city through the fair entry program where you only have to prove your income once and you're eligible for all subsidies and the most influential of those things of course is the low income transit pass. We were the first in the country to have a sliding scale low income pass so if you're really poor you can travel on transit for as little as five dollars a month and that has made an enormous difference in people's quality of lives. In fact one in ten Calgarians qualifies for the greatest subsidy of the low income transit pass. So 10% of Calgarians are living in really abject poverty and we never really talk about them. And being able to improve their lives, I think has been really important. On the planning side, we were able to end what I call the sprawl subsidy for new development and really change how the city is growing, how we are intensifying existing neighborhoods and not just sprawling out in car dependent suburbs uh, forever while still offering people plenty of choice in housing and lots of great opportunities. And then uh, on economic development, the economy has completely changed. You know, when I graduated from university almost 30 years ago, oil and gas was 50% of Calgary's economy. Prior to 2015, it had gone down to 30% and the economy continues to diversify and continues to grow and this year during COVID we have had an incredible boom in the tech economy really uh, cementing Calgary's place as one of the best places for startups in North America 
in the world, in fact. And all of that culminates in quality of life. I never stopped talking about how we were named just before COVID the best city in the Western Hemisphere in which to live. And all of, the, all of that other work culminates in people just feeling better about living here. So I feel really good about the way that we have moved uh, over the last 11 years at a time when the population of the city grew by nearly 50%. Uh, and we've been able to accommodate that. So when I was first elected, I said, having just hit a million people, Calgary was on the cusp of going from a big, small city to a small, big city on the global stage. And I think that we've done that really well and the eyes of the world continue to be on us. I know that I want to try to continue to be of service to the community. I know that I would like to do that outside of politics or outside of elected office. I want to be part of the story going forward, but I have de very deliberately opened myself up to the world to see if there are things out there that I've never even thought of where I might be able to put my limited schools uh, to use. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna focus on my physical and mental health. I'm gonna catch up on a lot of missed sleep. I'm gonna go to the gym a lot, um, COVID, <laughs> as long as I'm allowed to. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna catch up with a lot of family and friends. So that's the plan for the next little while. And then at some point, I gotta go look for a job.